hey welcome guys so in last tutorial we saw that how to install the mongodb and uh, we checked that how we can run mongodb as a service and then we uh, just checked that we, we were able to successfully run the mongodb in our system so uh, in last tutorial we used the mongo shell so basically that was kind of command prompt but today we will be installing a software a robo mongo so uh, where we will be which will be using as a mongo shell so basically we can say is a ui admin of running the query of mongo right so there are so many softwares like we can run in intellij or there are other softwares too but uh, we are using robo mongo because it's very good software where we can run the query where we can see effectively our document and all other things so for that just type the robo mongo download in google so as soon as you click on this it will lead you to the official site of robo mongo and here you will see the option download so click on this one and it will ask you that uh, which is your operating system so as per your operating system you can download so like uh, it is asking whether you want to download the exe and zip so yeah, I want to download the exe for windows so just click on this one and it will download the exe for you so click on the save ok so after it downloads then click on the exe and that will open the installer so click on yes click on next click on I agree click on the next click on install ok so now it has completed the installation so click on finish so like right now there is no uh, connections as of all because this is the first time we are launching mongodb so for that you need to create the connection so here it will ask that you i want to connect the direct connection and that will be the application name new connection and the address will be localhost and this will be this is a basically default mongodb uh, port number so 27017 so click on say yes or you can as well detest so it say yes ok so click on save so the one thing we need to keep in mind is that robo mongo is just a ui version or the ui of the mongo shell right so the same thing we can do from the command prompt also so once we do the mongo uh, once we type the mongo and then we get the mongo shell so from there too you can also create the tables and databases and then insert the data so the same thing we can do by robo mongo right so so before you start working on the robo mongo you need to make sure that mongod service is running properly right and that is why and the service was already running and that is that's why it's give that connection to successfully so if you see this that you need to type so just go to the mongodb server so uh, install the mongodb and then go to till bin and then write the mongod so that will start the mongodb server right so once you have started the service it means then now you can create the you can create your databases and that is why when we uh, when we create when we connect to the mongod to our server and then it shows that these are the databases right okay so now we will create our database that how we can create so go here and then create database so let's say uh, let's create database employer right and that is the or you can say it, let's create shop so i have a shop so this is my database and then and here it will show that the collections because right now it has zero collections zero functions and zero users right so collections are basically tables right so in mongo we call them as collection so you can go here and you can create collection so let's say in shop you have the employees so let's say create employee so it will show that you have one collection now okay so and if you click here then uh, then you can insert your data okay so to inserting the data you can uh, click on here and say insert document so 
here you can insert database so let's say mm, I want to have these values so name and so I'm inserting the first database right so let's say name John and I have let's say is so age was 45 right so these two data I want to uh, insert first just validate so it will say JSON is valid and then you can click on save so if you save that then it will give you so it will say that you have one object and if you go here then it you can see that so uh, mongodb basically generate id the object id by default right so when you inserted name and age so it automatically generated the id so right now it's saying that it has the one entry where we, where we have id equal to this one and name is john and age is this right and uh, so once you and, and once you operate this query so db dot get collection employ and find and if you run this so it will give you this query right because it has only one data so that is how we can uh, we can use a robomongo so we have showed that how we can download then how we can install then how we can uh, work on the mongo on the robomongo ui and before that our service should be running right so mongod database should be running and mongod service should be running before that so robomongo is just a ui where we will we will create database and we'll use the database right so what we saw with the robomongo was the basic example uh, that we created a table and then we inserted a one document so basically in robomongo we call collection as a table and each row as a document right so basically one one document or one row so one row means one document right so that is how we can create and we can insert as well as we can find the document so like this was the query of finding but our intention was to just to introduce with the robomongo not to go in depth into this which will go in the further tutorials so this was the introduction and in next tutorial we'll see how we can insert the uh, document and we can we'll see more queries on that so thanks friends for watching the videos and please subscribe the channel and please keep on watching the further tutorials on mongo thank you